So what you want to work on is the, the, the nail biting you mentioned. Yeah. Okay, so at the moment you're biting your nails. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And let's think of something you could do instead of okay. uh, biting nails. What are some of the things that are practical for you uh, instead of biting nails you could do? Okay, so, um, so things to take my mind off uh, that behaviour. Yeah, if you want to call it that or yeah. Um, so sorry. As a replacement, so yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so like having a drink of water or something okay. like that. Okay, a drink of water, anything else you can think of that's practical? Um, just uh, getting up and doing something different. Okay, okay. So doing, changing my position or changing where I am. Okay, so interrupting the pattern. Yeah. A little bit like, say, when you're immersed in a conversation with someone, the phone rings, you go back to that conversation, you yeah. can't remember what you're talking. Um, another one, I'm generally not one for making suggestions, but one that uh, might be practical too is, is maybe breathing. So okay. just, just breathing a bit deeper and placing your hands on your tummy and breathing deeper. So the sympathetic nervous system calms down, the parasympathetic kicks in and the spinster muscles relax and as you relax, you become uh, more relaxed and, and that can take you away from the habitual uh, behavior. Is there times that you bite more than other times? Yeah, if I'm stressed or anxious. Okay, okay. and hence the breathing exercise uh, to help with that. How often would you say you do it in the course of a day? 10 to 20 times. Okay, okay. And how far do you want to minimize it? I'd, I'd love to have beautiful nails again. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'd love to get rid of that. Okay. I mean, I, I used to bite all my nails and I'm down to just one now. Okay. Okay. Um, but it's oh, that's like interesting that. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, security blanket still. I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. This technique we use for behavior change. We use for many variations as well. You can do it for. I, I use this technique when I work with athletes, top athletes, if they're rehearsing for a event, if they're rehearsing for a cup final, we do a script for them for the game. If they're rehearsing for a a technique like a gymnast, a gymnast has to do a, a, a specific movement, then I'll break it down technically and focus on process rather than the outcome. I also do it for people preparing for interviews, to go focus on process. I do it for people who are preparing for presentations. So we focus on the process. I also utilize a lot for people who've got behavior change. So it could be biting nails, smoking, cessation. Um, the premise is if you can do it in your mind, you can do reality and, and neural pathways. A bit like, say, imagine a hay, uh, one of them, it was one of them country farms with the hay, and you drive a tractor through it, and you build a pathway through the brain, neural processes. You build that network in the brain, and that's how it works. And so the goal is, and we always focus towards an outcome with the technique, not always. As a general rule, it's helpful to work towards an outcome. So your outcome is, um, so you're biting now 10, 20 times. What would you like to do? What would be a tangible outcome for you, Caroline? What would be? Um, I would get it to zero. That'd okay. Be amazing. Okay. Okay. And we'll work on that and, yeah. and, and we'll go from there. So the first step is describe what you want to do instead of what you're doing. So it's almost like a script in the mind. So if you describe this stress comes along and when the stress comes along, you bite the nail. Yeah. Uh, describe what you'd want to do when the stress comes along instead of biting the nail. I think that breathing. Okay. I think that's a, a, a good easy option for me because I could do that anywhere. Okay, fantastic. And that's tangible too because you can, it's, it's practical. So you can measure it as well. So if you place your hands on your tummy and as you place your hands on your tummy, just breathe a bit deeper, Caroline, at a ratio comfortable for you. So you're breathing at a ratio just a bit deeper. By breathing deeper, you relax the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. The spinster muscles relax, the breathing slows down, the heart rate slows down. And, and you can have a go at that and, and, and go from there. The next step is, is I'm going to get to visualize doing it like watching a screen, okay. seeing yourself on a screen. Yeah. And then I'm going to get you to imagine doing it in the here and now. And then we're going to do a future pacing technique where you're going to think of three scenarios you once would have bit your nails, yeah. do something different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so perhaps you'd like to close your eyes, yeah. you're comfortable closing your eyes, and as you close your eyes, just breathe naturally normally, and as you breathe naturally normally, 
uh, you may be aware of your back against the chair, your foot against the floor, or your heartbeat. And as you're aware of your heartbeat back against the chair and maybe foot against the floor, imagine seeing yourself like a screen. As you see yourself on the screen, start the visualization process by imagine seeing an apple, an orange, the color of your front door, the color of a car. And as you do that, see yourself in a situation, Caroline, where you once you experienced that stress. And as you experience that stress, you once would bite your nails and now you see yourself just placing your hands on your tummy and breathing deeper. As you breathe deeper, you become relaxed and the stress washes, washes away, this too shall pass. Or perhaps you can see yourself drinking a glass of water or anything else that's practical instead of. And see yourself on the screen doing that. As you see yourself on the screen doing that, notice what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. Any sounds, any feelings. When you've got the image exactly how you want it, Caroline, Imagine stepping in the screen like the here and now. It's the here and now. As you imagine stepping in the screen like the here and now, imagine you have the stress. The stress is natural. It's normal. And as you experience the stress, you can remind yourself this too shall pass. And where you once would have uh, bitten the nail, you can just breathe deeper placing your hands on your tummy and just breathe deeper, nice and comfortable. And as you do that, think of three scenarios. Perhaps watching TV. Perhaps doing something around the house. If not today, tomorrow, next week, where you once would have bitten nail and now you place your hands on tummy and breathe instead of, or you have a glass of water, or you do anything else practical for you, that works for you, that's safe for you, instead of. And just run that through your mind. If you can do it in your mind, you can do it in reality, so creating a new pathway in the brain, or reinforcing a pathway that's already there. A bit like when we see a hay stack in the farm and the tractor goes through the cornfield and as the tractor goes through the cornfield it builds a pathway in the brain neuroplasticity okay and just embed that and in your own time in your own pace you can come back to this